Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel Chandrani Das Art and I am Chandrani. Let me introduce myself, I am an illustrator and a digital painter and hand drawing artist. In this channel we discuss about all kind of arts that I know and the process, the procedure of those arts, how do I do those arts like digital painting, watercolor, realistic painting, each and everything, okay? In this video, I'm gonna share with you five important tools that will really gonna help you if you want to paint something but you don't know about Photoshop at all except the interface but still, if you want to know the Photoshop and the toolbox then you have to know these five tools and these will really gonna help you okay so stay tuned tool number one is brush tool yes so this is the icon of brush tool which you can find on the toolbox and in this little icon you can find the other options all of the options of brushes over here under the menu bar okay and See, the brush tool has its um, shortcut of B. So if you don't want to click on this, you can hit the B button over on your keyboard and then brush tool will be selected, okay? Here are the options that I'm talking about. Right now, I'm just picking a color, like um, I'm picking this color. And over here, I'm just starting from the very left, this icon, this is where you find your brushes that Photoshop has given to you and if you don't want to go with this you can make though you can make a plenty of things with these brushes that Photoshop has already given to you but still if you don't want to uh, go with this and you want to download something else you can always find it from Google just write down Photoshop brushes free download and you can find over there a plenty of brushes and still if you don't want uh, anything over this and the downloaded one and you want to still um, make something new something different you can always make that too so basically I use these two brushes these brushes the round brushes soft round brushes and hard round brushes so whenever you use this and you can increase the size over here which I follow usually the open third bracket is the smaller the brushes uh, brush size will be hitting if you are hitting the close then you are increasing the size of this brush okay now I'm going to paint something then I am going to use this brush you can see it's a soft soft round brush and it will just look like this so I usually use this kind of brushes whenever I use to fill something with flat color most of the time I use this one because it's blend superly as it's a blur kind of brush it has soft edges so it blends quickly and in an excellent way all right then you have this little icon over here you can press this and you have a plenty of options that you can play with I'm not going to discuss all of this but those which basically I use like say a shape dynamic it's um, like you can see over here your brush brush tip it's a um, pointy kind of thing and uh, if you uncheck this button you can see the difference over here all right so usually whenever I just um, make something like border or something like that or uh, tiny things then I usually check this list on and uh, of course if you are using your pen tablet then of course you just hit this options over here pen pressure okay then there is the option of scattering scattering what does this mean it scattered your brush like this let me change this brush for you first okay so I'm scattering this brush now you can see what does it look like okay see then you can find some blending modes over here again I just use here most of the time multiply color dodge that's it but you can try the rest of the things multiply will just multiply your brush color the color will be same but wherever it will be overlapping 
the mode will be multiplied i mean you can see the color is different it's dark deep and if you are working on color dodge it's show like this wherever it's overlapping it's just brighten the color so i usually use it whenever i i'm going to give any kind of finishing touch any kind of glossy effect of characters or any kind of objects that i'm painting on on that time i use this blending mode and if i'm going to do something darker then i am i choose the multiply option over here all right then you have the option opacity it's very important let me give you one suggestion if you are drawing something just make sure if your opacity and the transparency button must be on and if you are going to draw something let your opacity be at least a little lower than 100% okay this will give your drawing a pro look see the options mostly i use and i don't want to mess with other options to you because as you are beginner so just ignore the all other options just use which are easy to learn and easy to remember for the first entry of the for, for the entry level of the digital painting okay two number second which is erase tool yes if you are going to draw something then you probably gonna do mistake a lot of lots of mistake which i i usually do and then erase tool will help you a lot for the erase tool you can find the icon over here on the toolbox and then you can find the all of the options under the menu bar like the other tools and you can do just like just erase the thing and you can give an effective look to your painting if you are just going to use some kind of different kind of um, texture kind of erase tool that will gonna give your painting a better look so you can use this erase tool like this tool number three selection tool you want to color any particular area with just one color you can just select those areas with this selection tool i usually use the lasso tool or polygonal lasso tool Number four is smudge tool. Yeah, in this tool, you can use this tool for drawing the texture of the tips, like hair, like grasses, anything which have this kind of tips, you know, fine tips. So these tips, um, I have already a video on that. How do you draw grass? Using this smudge tool, if you don't have already seen it, you can see this. Though it's a Hindi tutorial. Number five is blur tool, which will help you a lot to level up your drawing, your painting. You can find the tool over here. You can give an effect over here, Gaussian blur. I'm selecting a tool over here. I'm just focusing on this part and I'm gonna just make this much better. And you can see effects just turning my edges of this painting much smoother and soft edges. After drawing, after painting all the story into your page, you just focus on the particular area and just try to make that portion focused. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this video helpful and if you are new, do subscribe my channel and if you like this video, hit, hit the like button, share this video and if you have a, your own opinion, feel free to share this on the comment section below. I will be back with some other videos. Till then, take care. Bye.